Good morning ladies and gents, mabuhay! Welcome to my YouTube channel. Kapag bago ka pa lamang po sa aking channel, do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be updated with my future video tutorials. And if you learned something in this video, do not forget to like, comment, and share. By the way, I am Teacher Fred and I am very happy to have you in my channel. Sa nakaraang video natin mga bata, ating napag-usapan ang Newton's Second Law of Motion o tinatawag po nating Law of Acceleration. Pag sinabi po nating acceleration, ito po ay tumutukoy kung gaano kabilis o gaano kabagal ang paggalaw ng isang bagay. Yung bilis at bagal ng isang bagay ay pwede pong maapektuhan ng dalawang factors po. Ito po ay ang force at ang Laging isa sa isip mga bata na the higher the force, the higher the acceleration. The lower the force, the lower the acceleration. And the higher the mass, the lower the acceleration. The lower the mass, the higher the acceleration. And due to this pandemic mga bata and new mode of learning, medyo mahirap po sa inyong part na mag-solve ng mga science problems without your teacher beside you. And with my passion in teaching, eh gusto ko yung paring turuan kung paano mag-solve ng acceleration sa mas madali at mas mabilis na paraan. Kahit online lamang mga bata. So gusto nyo yun? If that is a yes, what are you waiting for? Come on, let's go! Para malaman natin ang acceleration ng isang bagay mga bata, kailangan mong tandaan ang tatlong napaka-importante mga bida sa law of acceleration o tinatawag natin quantities. Ito ay si force, mass at acceleration. At ang bawat quantities mga bata ay may kanya-kanyang symbols na ginagamit. Para sa force, ang ginagamit nating symbol ay B letter F. Sa mass naman mga bata, ang ginagamit nating symbol ay small letter M. At sa acceleration naman mga bata, ang ginagamit nating symbol ay small letter A. Ang bawat quantities mga bata ay may kanya-kanya ring mga units na ginagamit. Sa force, gumagamit tayo ng big letter N o Newton at kilogram meter per second squared. So kapag meron po tayong 5 N or 5 Newtons, that is equivalent to 5 kilogram meter per second squared. Pagkatapos naman, sa mass, gumagamit tayo ng kilogram or kJ. Habang sa acceleration naman, gumagamit tayo ng unit na meter per second squared. Ngayon, mapunta naman tayo sa mga formula. Anong formula na gagamitin natin kapag hinahanap natin ang acceleration ng isang bagay? Ang sagot dyan ay A is equals to F over M. Ano naman ang formula natin na gagamitin kapag hinahanap naman natin ang force na in-apply para mapagalaw ang isang bagay. That is, F is equals to A multiplied by M. At ano naman ang formula para makuha natin ang mass o bigat ng isang bagay? That is, M is equals to F over A. So mga bata, medyo namindang kayo o medyo na lost kayo kung saan ang galing yung mga formula na pinagsasabi ko mga ganun ah, kanina. So gamit itong triangle formula, mas mapapadali ang pagsasaulo o pag-memorize ninyo ng formula ng ating acceleration, force, and mass. So mga bata, unahin na natin kung ano ba ang formula na gagamit na natin kapag hinahanap natin ang acceleration ng isang bagay. Madaling lamang. So, gamit itong triangle formula natin, hahanapin natin kung nasaan dyan si acceleration. Nasaan ba si acceleration? So, ang ating letter A. So, pag hinahanap natin ang acceleration, isulat natin ang A agad. So, A is equals to F over M. So, dyan ang galing para mas madaling matandaan. Ngayon, saan naman nang galing ang formula para kay force? Madaling lamang. Hanapin natin kung nasaan ang force sa triangle formula. Nasaan ba ang F sa triangle formula? Ito. So, automatic, isusulat natin agad ang force kasi force ang hinahanap natin. So, force is equals to A multiplied by F. 
Gets mo? Very good. At ngayon mga bata, hahanapin naman natin kung ano ba ang formula ng mass o bigat ng isang bagay. So, automatic, hahanapin natin si letter M. Tama. So, ito si letter M. So, isusulat natin agad si M. And followed by F over A. Get small? Very good. Ang goal ng ating short quiz na ito, mga bata, ay gusto kong malaman kung alam nyo na mag-identify ng mga given data. Kung ito ba ay acceleration, force, or mass. Kasi mali ang magagamit mong formula kapag mali-mali rin yung pag-identify mo ng mga given data natin sa ating science problem. Alam kong napaka-excited na ninyo na pumunta sa problem solving, di ba? Pero, let's try to answer this first. So first, number one, we have 15 kilograms. Ito ay? Tama! Ito ay mass. Next, number two, we have 4 meter per second squared. This refers to your? Very good. Acceleration. Next, number three, we have 25 kilogram meter per second squared. This refers to your? Tama! This refers to your force. Next, number four, we have 10 N or 10 Newtons. That refers to what? Tama! Force. And number five, we have 3 kilograms. And that refers to what? Very good. That refers to mass. So, perfect score is 5 over 5. Very good. Yes, finally, we arrived to the highlight of this video tutorial. And that is to teach you how to solve for acceleration, mass, and force. So, using these modules in Science 8, we will try to answer some of the problems here. So, if you are excited, what are you waiting for? Get your pen and your paper because we will try to answer some of them. Based on problem, pareho rin ba tayo ng mga quantities na na-identify? If that is a yes, let's proceed. So, ang kulang na quantities na kailangan natin hanapin is si acceleration. So, hindi pa natin alam kung ano ang magiging formula ni acceleration. So, gamit ang ating triangle formula, we will try to make our own formula. So, since A yung hinahanap for acceleration, so automatic A is equals to F nasa taas, copy, and M nasa iba ba, copy. So, ito ang magiging formula ng ating acceleration. Get? Okay, let's proceed now. So, acceleration is equals to, we will now try to substitute the given sa ating formula. So, ano ang magiging F natin mga bata? So, ang magiging F natin is 3 newtons. At ano ang magiging mass natin? 4 kilograms. Okay, so let's proceed now. Okay na. Okay, so acceleration natin, 3 newtons divided by 4 kilograms. By the way, ano ba ang unit ni acceleration? Hindi ba meter per second squared? Hmm, so medyo mahirap. So ano kailangan natin gawin? Yung N, i-convert natin sa kilogram meter per second squared. So that will be 3 kilogram meter per second squared over 4 kilograms. Yes, mga bata. Now, we will try to cancel to the same uh, units. So next, let's proceed. Ano na ano natira? 3 over 4 meter per second squared. So using your calculator or manual, no? So, try to divide 3 over 4. Ano ang magiging sagot dyan is 0.75. Copy the unit, meter per second squared. So, this will be your final 
answer. Gets? Diba madali lang mga bata? Based on problem number 2 mga bata, pareho rin ba tayo ng mga quantities na na-identify? If that is a yes, let's start now our solving. So yung kulang ng quantity na kailangan natin hanapin is force. So using this triangle formula, kaya nyo na bang gumawa ng sarili mong formula? Okay, so gawin natin F F is equals to A or acceleration multiplied by your M or mass. Tama? Okay, so we will now try to substitute. So, acceleration is ito. So, 5 meter per second squared. Next, multiplied by your mass which is 50 kilograms. Yes. Next step po tayo. 5 times 50 is 250. Then you have to copy the units. Kilogram, meter per second squared. Actually, pwede na po itong sagot na to. Pero to make it more simple or simpler, so we will try to change that into Newton. So, this will be your final answer. Di ba madali naman mga bata? So, let's proceed to our work. Problem number 3. Based on problem number 3, mga bata, pareho din ba tayo ng mga quantities na na-identify? If that is a yes, let's proceed now to our next step. So, yung kulang dito is... Mass, o bigat. So, gamit itong triangle formula natin, we will make our own formula na. So, M is equals to F over A. Tama? Okay. So, next step po tayo, substitution. Ano yung magiging F natin? So, that is 25 Newton. Ano yung magiging acceleration natin? That is 12 meter per second squared. By the way, mga bata, ano nga yung unit para sa mass? Kg. Diba? Okay. So, anong gagawin natin dito? We will try to... Very good. We will try to change the newton into kilogram meter per second squared. So, dito tayo kasi wala ng space. So, 25 kilogram meter per second Square. Yes? And copy 12 meter per second squared. Then what we will do? Okay. Cancel to the same unit. Okay. So we have now 25 divided by 12. Using your calculator or manual, the answer there is 2.083. Copy kilogram. And this will be your final answer. <laughs> there you have it ladies and gents We're done with our discussion about Newton's second law of motion O tinatawag nating law of acceleration So tinuruan ko na kayo ng basic foundation at kung papaano mag-solve ng acceleration, ng force, at ng mass. So, wala nang dahilan para matakot kayong pumasok sa inyong science subject. So, if you learned something in my video, mga bata, please like, comment, and share. Please, please, subscribe, mga bata. Wala naman pong bayad yan. And, uh, yes, God bless, mga bata, and enjoy answering your modules at home. Goodbye!